Um, so I know a lot of people go into the process of selling their home. And once they decide that it's time for them to sell that house, they're kind of ready to go. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. they're ready for it to be done. Let's get it sold as soon as possible. So I can, whatever the case may be, I can move somewhere prettier or get that bigger house, whatever their goal is. How fast should people realistically expect their home to sell based on all the different factors that go into that situation? Well, if your realtor can't sell the home in a week, get rid of them. <laughs> totally kidding. <laughs> uh, you know, the market does dictate the speed. We are, you know, two years ago coming off of a market where by the time you hit submit to go live on MLS, you had people knocking on the door, you had mm -hmm. offers coming in. We're not that anymore. And that's a crazy market. The market needed to take a step back and kind of take a breath. But when you're looking in a healthy market, of, of, I would say more of just a normal market, you're looking closer to 90 days of what it takes for a home to sell. Uh, and that's okay, right? We're all compared to what it was a couple of years ago. So as I, we feel like as agents, we have to come in there and say, I'm gonna sell your home in two weeks. You know, we don't say that, but that's the expectations that uh, when you're meeting with a homeowner that they think they may wanna hear. The important part is just to lay out the timeline and have those talks and lay down the expectations of here's what the market is showing us right now. Now, pricing is always king when it comes to the factors of how fast or slow your home will move. It's price, condition, location. Usually someone has to give on one of those um, because there's hardly any perfect homes out there. Uh, it's the person or it's the realtor's job to help them find a lot of what they're looking for. And then that it's up to that person to make it a perfect home that they want. So, you know, 90 day plan is what you're looking for. Everyone hopes it goes faster. Sure. There's, there's different checkpoints along the way that you're constantly assessing. I'm not saying it's just a proven fact that 90 days, but let's just all relax here as far as uh, sellers wanting to list their homes, go ahead, go into it thinking 90 days is kind of where I'm thinking that this may take. And we'll show you the facts. We'll show you what the market says, uh, especially in a neighborhood. And then we also show the price per square footage range of, well, here's what's moving in 20 something days, or here's a good indication of where it may move at this, but then it comes down to condition. Right. If you look at Pebble Creek right now, Pebble Creek's having um, it's it's there's challenges in there because a lot of Pebble Creek homes were built in 90s. Right. So we're 30 years removed from when they were built. Beautiful, well-maintained homes, but they're just outdated. So you price it based on the market. But then when people buyers go in there, you could live in that home there. There's you know, hardly anything wrong with that home. It's just, it's not fitting with the condition of what buyers are looking for now. So that's causing homes like that to sit on the market a little longer because buyers are contemplating, okay, what work do I have to do on top of, you know, when I move in, not, not maintenance, but, uh, you know, just the, the condition, the upgrades and stuff. Right. Home. Right. And, and I think the important part of that for sellers is expectations, yes. right? It's, it's going in understanding, Hey, my realtor is a professional at this. This is what they do. And being open to listening to what they have to say, not just about where the national market is at, which mm -hmm. is, Hey, my cousin's house sold <laughs> in a few weeks, whatever right, it is, yeah. right? You Don't can't compare us to Scottsdale. <laughs> you, yeah. You can't compare every house to every house. It just, it no. doesn't work, you no. know, not even two houses in the same neighborhood, but you can talk to your realtor about, okay, so my house, it was built at this time. It's in this neighborhood. It's in this town. What are we looking at as far as that goes? And like you said, 90 days is what you should go into expecting for that time frame to look yeah. like. And right? we all hope it goes faster. But things to look at your house as far as what we're talking upgrades is going to be kitchen, bathrooms, and flooring. Paint, yes, you could obviously argue that. But those are the main things that people want to have upgrades and feel like it is the most current up to date. Uh, and then also having a conversation of where 
you do sell at, what do they net to then see what next loan they get into. That way we make sure, okay, you do want to sell your home, but we can adjust for the upgrades that it doesn't have, maybe just to kind of uh, help the buyer out a little more as far as wanting to uh, come in and they're okay with doing the work um, and paying the list price, but also understanding it's still going to be a win if we get this amount because your next loan, you just need this and that's where you come in. So, right, right. you know, we're, we're, we're seeing that challenges with older homes right now. And it's, it's amazing. You walk into a home, you're like, wow, this is beautiful. And then it just sits and sits. You're like, hmm. And new builds do affect the market here. Like, because you can always go around a corner and go look at a new build and go, oh, I like that. It's shiny new object, right? But uh, it's not always the case. Some people do like the charm of an older home. But yes, uh, 90 days is definitely the expectation of just to set and let us work in those 90 days. And we're actually getting back to a calmer market that mm -hmm. is just, it's normal. Okay, it's just normal. So again, stop freaking out.